Are here with Callum Chick, previewing Saturday's Gallagher Premiership opener away at Bath Rugby. Um, Chick, you have had five Premiership Rugby Cup games, four victories and a, and a defeat at Leicester. How would you look back on the Cup campaign? Uh, very positively, um, mixed bag. Um, obviously, very much different teams playing each game. Lads getting a good run out. Um, unfortunately, the result went the way it did against Leicester, but it was an eye-opener for us and it happened in the Cup, so that's the positive. We can move forward, put those things right and look forward to this week against Bath, which is the main target this season in the league. Unusual having five Cup games to kick off the campaign. Do you think it's actually been helpful in some ways? Uh, definitely, yeah. It gives us a chance to, to try different combinations and give uh, pretty much every lad in the squad a bit of game time, um, which is always good. Debuts coming in for the young lads and, and some of the older boys um, getting some game time as well. We're into the Gallagher Premiership this week. Do you think we can expect a, a bit of a rise in intensity and level and obviously just the kind of general hype surrounding everything? 100%, yeah. The Premiership's a, it's a tough league. Um, every week, you know, it's going to be a battle, um, especially against Bath. Um, they've got a big scrum and a big mall and a physical pack, um, so we know that's coming. Uh, so for us, the intensity's got to go up from those cup games as a whole group, but it's, but it's something to look forward to embrace, not, not to back away from. We've talked about what we can expect from Bath there. What can Bath expect from Newcastle? Um, I don't want to give too much away, <laughs> but hopefully um, for the fans and for the people at home, you'll see us play, playing a more exciting brand of rugby, but, but that goes out not of our fundamentals. We've got to work hard and we've got to be disciplined and we've got to be a bit, bit hard-nosed and a bit gritty as well. That, that's the league at the end of the day. If you don't do that right, then you're not going to get anywhere. We've not had a bad recent record at the rec. I think I'm right in saying we've won three out of the last four. Do you have grounds that you particularly like playing at or is recent form just irrelevant in that sense? Uh, recent form's irrelevant. Um, it obviously gives you confidence going down there, but um, for us, it's sort of focusing on week by week, not looking at past years, it's different squads, different teams. Um, I wouldn't say Bath is particularly one of the clubs I like playing at of the world's smallest away changing room. So, um, but yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a cool ground when you're out there playing. Um, but for us, we're just focused on ourselves and it is what it is. When we get down there, the ground's a ground, rugby pitch a rugby pitch. The most important thing this season is obviously the, uh, the introduction of the fantasy rugby. Is there many of the lads getting involved? And if so, who would, uh, who would be in your fantasy team? Um, don't know about lads getting involved, but we had a little look at prices. Um, so I know Tom Penny is four million and is picked by currently 0% of the players. Um, <laughs> One of the old lads used to be here, George McGuigan, he's at two million to his own. He can't believe it, he thinks he should be worth more. Uh, shock, Googie thinks that. Um, but yeah, I'll probably have Mateo in my team. He's expensive at 10 mil, but he's worth every penny, I think. Joint top try scorer last year. Are you going to be taking that into your next contract negotiation? Um, I mean, if they pay me that, I'll be saying, I'll be more than happy, so, uh, but I don't think I'll happen.